The U.S. The U.S. set the standard for fifth-generation fighters by introducing the Lockheed Martin F-22 Raptor, the world's first operational fifth-generation fighter. In 2005, it incorporates its radar-evading stealth airframe, supercruise capabilities of Mach 1.8, and unparalleled maneuverability, providing significant advantages in survivability and lethality, especially in beyond visual range engagement. This aircraft excels in air-to-air -air combat, but can also perform air-to-surface missions, electronic or Warfare and intelligence gathering. By 2011, the U.S. Air Force had deployed around 180 F-22 Raptors, which have been used in airstrike operations in Syria 2014 and Afghanistan 2018. Following the F-22, the U.S. introduced the Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II, which entered development in the mid-2000s and was announced as operational in 2015. The F-35 is notable for its versatility, integrating stealth capabilities with advanced networked combat systems and mission-specific modifications, offering three distinct variants to meet the needs of different branches of the U.S. military. The F-35A for the Air Force, the F-35B with short takeoff and vertical landing capabilities for the Marine Corps, and the F-35C for carrier operations in the Navy. The F-35 program has become the most expensive aircraft program in history, with costs surpassing $1 trillion. Despite its high price, the F-35 continues to be produced under a multi-year contract. As of February 2024, Lockheed Martin has delivered over 990 F-35s, with more than 1,000 produced and nearly 800,000 flight hours logged. The program spans 18 countries with 3,497 aircraft ordered. The U.S. military is the largest customer with 2,456 orders, 62% of the total. 14 services are operating the F-35, with 12 having declared initial operating capability. Additionally, 12 warships, 9 American, two British and one Italian, are equipped to carry F-35s, with nine more expected by 2028. Russia Russia's journey toward developing a fifth-generation fighter began in the late 1980s, when the Soviet Union initiated projects to replace its aging MiG-29 and Su-27 fighters. The Mikoyan Project 1.44 and Sukhoi Su-47, both serving as technology demonstrators, were early efforts to meet next-generation requirement. However, these projects were hampered by financial constraints and the dissolution of the Soviet Union. In the early 2000s, Russia revived the pursuit of a next-generation fighter under the PAC FA program, with Sukhoi and Mikoyan as key competitors. Sukhoi's T-50 design, now known as the Sukhoi Su-57, emerged victorious. This twin-engine stealth fighter, first flown in 2010 and entering service in 2020, incorporates advanced features such as supercruise capability at Mach 1.6, sophisticated avionics, and stealth technology, making it a formidable contender against Western fifth-generation fighters like the F-22 and F-35. With 12 units already in operation and an additional 76 ordered as of May 2019. The Su-57 is a testament to Russia's commitment to advancing its air combat capabilities. In addition to the Su-57, Russia is developing other fifth-generation aircraft. The Mikoyan Pak DP, designed to replace the MiG-31, promises advanced stealth and speeds of Mach 4. Meanwhile, the Su-75 Checkmate, unveiled in 2021, is a single-engine fighter aimed primarily at the export market, offering a more affordable alternative to multi engine fighters. China China's fifth-generation fighter aircraft include the Chengdu J-20 and Shenyang FC-31, both recognized as advanced stealth fighters by the U.S. Department of Defense. By the late 1990s, China began developing its fifth-generation fighter aircraft under the JXX program. The Chengdu J-20, a stealth twin-engine fighter, made its first flight on January 11, 2011, and received initial operational clearance in March 2017. The J-20 features advanced stealth capabilities and is expected to replace older fighters in the People's Liberation Army Air Force, PLAF. As of the end of 2023 or early 2024, around 200 J-20s have been produced. The Shenyang FC-31, also known as J-31, is another stealth fighter under development. Designed to be comparable in size and role to the F-35, with a top speed of Mach 1.8 and a range of 775 miles, it aims to replace the single 
single-engine J-10 as a medium fighter. The J-31, which first flew on October 31, 2012, is intended to enhance China's capabilities with stealth features, though it has not yet been officially inducted into combat units. Furthermore, China has begun laying the groundwork for sixth-generation fighters under the codename JXD. These efforts indicate China's intent to rival the United States in air superiority, potentially positioning itself as a global leader in next-generation aerospace. Turkey the Turkish TFX Khan, a fifth-generation all-weather multi-role aircraft, represents Turkey's ambitious response to its exclusion from the F-35 program in 2019. Developed by Turkish Aerospace Industries in collaboration with BAE Systems, the TFX Khan is designed to replace the aging F-16 fleet of the Turkish Air Force. This advanced stealth fighter boasts cutting-edge technology, including stealth features that make it difficult to detect by radar and other sensors, advanced avionics such as a fly-by-wire system, active electronically scanned array radar, and an electronic warfare suite. Powered by two F-110 GE-132 engines, the TFX Khan achieves a top speed of Mach 1.8, with a service ceiling of 55,000 feet and a combat radius of 600 nautical miles. The TFX Khan is equipped with a variety of weaponry, including air-to-air -air missiles, air-to-ground missiles, guided bombs, and a 20mm cannon for close air support. The Turkish Air Force plans to deploy this aircraft by the early 2030s for air superiority, ground attack, and reconnaissance missions. Despite reservations from NATO allies, particularly the U.S., due to Turkey's purchase of Russian S-300 air defense systems, Ankara is determined to advance its own defense capabilities. The TFX Khan not only reflects Turkey's commitment to self-reliance in defense, but also positions it as a potential competitor in the global arms market, challenging existing fifth-generation fighters like the F-35, India? India's fifth-generation fighter aircraft, the Hale Advanced Medium Combat Aircraft, represents a significant leap in the nation's aerospace capability. Developed by Hindustan Aeronautics Limited and the Aeronautical Development Agency, ADA, the AMCA is designed to replace the Indian Air Force's Su-30 MKI and to fill the role of a stealthy, multi-role fighter. The AMCA project began in 2010, following the cancellation of a joint venture with Sukhoi for the fifth-generation fighter aircraft, FGFA, by 20 2013, a preliminary design phase was underway, leading to the finalization of the twin-engine, diamond trapezoidal wing design. In 2015, the design incorporates advanced stealth features, including a low-radar cross-section, composite materials, internal weapons bays, and diverterless supersonic intakes (DSIs). The AMCA will have two versions, the Mark I, which will integrate foreign systems, and the Mark II, featuring more advanced indigenous technology, with a top speed of Mach 2.14, super cruise capability and a combat range of 1,600 kilometers. The AMCA is expected to compete with other fifth-generation fighters globally. The prototype development is scheduled to produce five units by 2027, with the first flight expected a year later. While it remains in the prototype phase, the AMCA is poised to become a key player in India's pursuit of self-reliance in defense technology, potentially transforming the Indian Air Force's operational capabilities by the end of this decade. South Korea. The KF-21 Boramai, South Korea's fifth-generation fighter aircraft, represents a significant leap in the nation's aerospace capabilities. Developed by Korea Aerospace Industries, KAI, and unveiled in July 2021, the KF-21 is designed to enhance South Korea's domestic defense production and regional influence. Its development began in 2001 with the goal of creating a cutting-edge fighter to replace the aging F-4 Phantoms and F-5 Tigers. The KF-21 features a sleek design design with a focus on balancing stealth and payload capacity. It is powered by the General Electric F-414 engine, enabling speeds up to Mach 1.8 and a combat range of 1,000 kilometers. Notably, the KF-21 incorporates advanced avionics, including ASA radar and electronic warfare systems, and it can carry a variety of armaments, from air-to-air -air missiles like the AIM-120 AMRAM to precision-guided munitions. The aircraft has already attracted international interest from countries such as Poland, Peru, and the Philippines. By 2028, South Korea plans to deploy 40 KF-21s, with a total fleet of 120 expected by 2032. The program also includes future upgrades for enhanced multi-role capabilities and the potential development of a carrier-based variant, AF-21N.
Japan, the Mitsubishi X-2 Shinshin signifies Japan's foray into fifth-generation fighter aircraft. Designed in response to regional security dynamics and the need to update aging fleets, the X-2 made its first flight on April 22, 2016. Japan's ambition to acquire a stealth fighter was initially hindered by restrictions on American technology transfers, prompting the development of its own advanced aircraft. The X-2 has a takeoff weight of 13,000 kilograms, a wingspan of 9.1 meters, and a length of 14.2 meters. It is powered by IHI XF51 low bypass turbofan engines, enabling speeds of Mach 2.25 and a range of 2,900 kilometers. The aircraft features exceptional maneuverability and advanced stealth technologies, including a fly-by light system that replaces conventional wiring and radar-absorbing materials such as non-reflective silicon carbide and ceramic. Although not intended for mass production, X2 serves as a crucial testbed for future advancements. The X-2 has played a pivotal role in Japan's aerospace industry, establishing the country as the fourth nation to develop a stealth fighter. Its innovations are laying the groundwork for Japan's sixth-generation F-3 fighter, part of the Global Combat Air Program. Sweden, Sweden's flag system 2020, FS 2020, represents the country's ambitious effort to develop a fifth-generation low-observable fighter jet by 2035. This project emerged from the Swedish Air Force's recognition of the need to modernize its fleet, as earlier models like the JAS-39 were anticipated to become outdated by 2020. Although public details are sparse, the FS 2020 aims to incorporate advanced stealth and avionics technologies. The FS 2020 project is supported by Saab and Linkuping University, focusing on developing key technologies through the Saab Linkuping University Generic Future Fighter Project. In addition to domestic effort, Sweden has engaged in international partnerships, initially collaborating with Turkey's TAI for the TFX program, and later aligning with the UK and Italy in 2019, contribute to the Tempest Sixth Generation Fighter Project. This cooperation expanded in December 2022 when the UK, Japan, and Italy merged their projects into the Global Combat Air Program, with Sweden potentially participating in future developments. The FS-2020's features are expected to include advanced stealth capabilities, cutting-edge avionics, and high maneuverability, although specific details remain confidential. The project's goal is to ensure Sweden's air superiority through a next-generation fighter that will serve as a cornerstone of the Swedish Air Force's future capability.